Tomorrow's an alert day. We're tracking the potential for severe storms starting perhaps as early as around lunchtime, lasting through the afternoon and evening till about 10 at night. The potential for tornadoes, heavy downpours, gusty winds and maybe some hail out there as well. So a lot to talk about as we move through our Thursday today. It doesn't look great outside, but no severe weather in the forecast. Cloudy skies, areas of light rain continuing on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. So for many of us, wet roads as we head out the door, perhaps grab some lunch today. Northern Tuscaloosa County into Walker County. Some of those light rain showers moving in from the south and west. More here across uh, Jefferson County, spreading north and east into Blunt and St. Clair counties. This is what we'll be dealing with through the next several hours. More of these light to moderate rain showers later today, especially this evening and overnight tonight. A lot of this activity will move up to the north associated with a warm front feature. And because of that, we're going to really pick up that Gulf of Mexico moisture. Tons of unstable air heading in as we move through our Thursday, and that's going to set the stage again for that threat for severe storms. So starting off tomorrow, mainly quiet, a few light rain showers certainly possible, but by lunchtime we're starting to see some of those storms forming back to our west. They'll build in coverage and in intensity as we move through the afternoon by 2 p.m. You can see a lot of these uh, heavier downpours, areas of thunderstorms, some of which will be severe. 7 p.m. right up and down I-65, very heavy rain and again that potential for severe storms that will spread east with time through the late evening and into the early overnight hours. By 11 p.m. it looks like much of this activity is off to our east, but we'll still see some rain, not severe weather, but rain back behind the line lasting through the overnight time frame. So here's the latest update from the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, much of our area, especially now along in west, of I-65 included in that enhanced or three on a scale of one to five risk zone. For the rest of us, it's a two, but area wide the threat for severe storms as we move through our Thursday from around noon to 6 p.m. across the western part of our state. Central areas along I-65, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. The greatest threat for severe storms and then later afternoon through the evening and then early night uh, or early overnight time frame farther back to the east. So something we'll closely monitor as we move through our Thursday. Now looking ahead to the weekend, we will see improved weather. It will be much colder though. Saturday morning, we're down to the 20s. Daytime highs in the 50s, but at least sunshine for the afternoon. More sun for Sunday. So we just have to get through today and tomorrow and we'll see that improved weather moving our way for the weekend. Here's our seven day forecast. Again, the alert day for tomorrow turning much colder starting Friday. Highs only in the 40s, windy as well. Nighttime lows down into the 20s. Saturday morning turning much warmer and more unsettled again for the first part.